Hey guys, Gio here, back with another video, and today I'm going to make a video about the iPhone SE 2020 and 2021. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the screen. Since that's what we all look at, look at. the first thing we do is look at the screen. That's, that's how we even use the phone, is to look at the screen. So let's see. Is... Is LCD okay instead of OLED? Um, yes, but I mean, in 2021, I mean, most phones, OnePlus, Samsung, even Apple, most phones have OLED, even the 12 mini, which is, it's still 100% is a flagship phone. It's just the lower range. It's like, it's like the iPhone SE, and then the 12 mini but you know i mean lcd is acceptable but if they make a refresh of the if they make a refresh of the iphone se in 2022 they better make it oled or else you know because because that's not really future proof next thing how's the 64 gigabytes of internal storage and is it too small um, small, not really, cause, um, because I had, um, an iPad 6 gen way back, um, and it was 32. I filled that thing up within, I always had to like delete photos and apps and stuff, but now I got it in August of 2020, the iPhone SE 2020, I got it in August of 2020. And I don't, maybe sometimes it says storage is full when I'm doing too many like LumaFusion projects and stuff on it or like filming too much 4K60. So, um, but maybe I delete things once or twice so far. Um, but it's not that bad, but I'm sure once files get bigger and stuff in like 2022 or 2023, Things are gonna be like 128 or 256 um, is the base, you know, because 64 is is cutting it close. It's it's not bad, but it's cutting it close. Next thing, the speakers, are they good? Because you know, you want to listen to Spotify or Apple Music or watch videos or N Disney Plus or Netflix, you know, if you want to watch it. Are they trash? Are they good? Are they bad? Speakers? They're not bad, but I mean, it's basically a recycled iPhone 8. So, I mean, except for the 813 chip, um, it's still not that bad though. Um, the speakers, you know, they're not tinny. The lows and mids and highs are not that bad. You know, I could listen, but usually if I want to listen to something, I listen on my AirPods because obviously airpods they're better than the, the speakers you know next next subject the camera does it still hold up the front the rear does it still hold up in 2021 the answer short answer yes long answer uh, i mean if you're not like a photographer or anything it's good but like if you don't care about like, you know, 2160 or 1080 in in the front, and you know, but the front is not that good because it can do 1080 30. It's not 1080 60. So, but it's it's, it's not bad. But the, the the rear, you could do some really good filming stuff with it, and even even photography it's good it's just not stereoscopic because you can't do the portrait mode videos which i mean it's not it's not it's not stereoscopic because you can't do the portrait mode photos you know you can't do the portrait mode photos of like cats and dogs you can only do people right now on the iphone se but maybe if they do another iphone se 2022 or whatever they actually might, um, maybe they'll actually add an ultra wide, hopefully, you know, at least 
a lower grade ultra wide it could be like no it could be a 1080p no night mode at least it's an ultra wide and we could do portrait photos of anything and the camera and the sensors will maybe be bigger on the new ones maybe it'll take the old iphone 12 body or maybe it'll take the old iphone 7 plus body that would be even good and just add front screen uh, that's all screen but anyways enough rambling let's get to the verdict is it good all around and do i recommend it in 2021 yes it's recommendable but maybe for not someone who's been already on like say an iphone 10 or an iphone 11 11 pro and going from that to an iphone se which wouldn't be it'd be an adjustment but i would say if you want a smaller phone in a smaller form factor that's and you don't really have a budget i would say go with the 12 mini but if you have a uh, no budget and just want a smaller form factor and simpler phone um you should get the 12 mini because it's great that's a 12 it's a this is a 12 mini you know it's a flagship phone has the ultra wide has all the 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 bells and whistles of the flagship phones because it's a flagship phone but if you have a budget you should just and want a smaller form factor phone you should go with the iphone se because i mean you can't beat it for the price of 399 you can't beat it for the price of 399 future geo correct me if i'm wrong um you can't beat it for the price anyways I think I'll stop the video here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.